just finished a gender workshop, and I'd like to hear what the difference is in this gender workshop from others that you've experienced or led. Uh, I would like to say this one is unique because they brought the two different gender together and be able to share the experience. Mm -hmm. Unlike the other one we attended, it was only women will cry and do that and won't come to any uh, conclusion. But this one is more unique. Mm -hmm. Well, I think for me, the uniqueness of this uh, workshop, um, over the past um, eight years, I've been working with, um, with the gender program in South Africa, looking at um, issues of uh, gender-based violence. Um, especially increasing male involvement in this issue. So I think that's what makes it more unique. It reaches to the core of um, a person's, um, a person's uh, values, attitude, and, and beliefs. And, and that is what makes it more different compared to other gender activities that uh, we've facilitated. Yeah. Look, I would like to compel that opinion, um, mainly because the all the workshops that I've uh, conducted, for example, usually focuses on the theory around why gender-based violence happens. Uh, we would look at issues around patriarchy and actually inform the participants that it, be it is because of the power and imbalance between men and women and not hear it from them. And I think what this workshop has tried to do is to try and understand some of the causes and consequences of violence against women and men, but also go into the, some of the risk and protection factors as to why this happens. I mean, the risk and the resiliency that both men and women might have. And instead of only focusing on women as the main victims, we are, we've eliminated the element of bias and are looking at both parties in an equal way. And I mean, a typical gender workshop would also go on to offer the legal remedies as a way of, of dealing with the issues. And I think this one offers practical everyday things that you can do to subvert the, the experience of violence or the gender imbalance. Uh, mine, uh, I can say, um the different from the different of this workshop from other workshops is other workshops were more using my mind my it was more enhan enhancing skills within myself on how to work in terms of gender based violence how to apply it how to see this gender but this one it's like it it, it, it connect with my heart on, on, it's about healing. It's not about, and, and, and it, it was not about getting skills, how to apply skills, how to work into, how to get money, how to to to, to in, how to, to to open organization, how to run organization, how to run mm -hmm. a shop. But it it was about how then can I change within myself the situation of gender based violence and stuff. So it was it was it was similar like. If, if if I was naughty using drugs and stuff like that, I would I would say this was like rehab, <coughs> then school. You understand? So it was more like boosting my my heart and my my, my desire and my soul than boosting my mind and getting more skills about how to conduct workshops. But it's how to 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 to, to, to participate in gender violence. Excuse me. And then one other thing is the acknowledgement of everybody. And you know, be give, given time to listen to other people. You know, that's the most important thing. When we've got problems, we don't know how, to whom to talk to, but we're able to listen and then give each other a support. That was the most important thing. For me, growing up in South Africa as a young man, I'm I've never really been given an opportunity to, to explore my emotions, especially at the deeper level. And as far as uh, um, trying to coordinate my emotions, with, especially with what I do on a daily basis. So the, the program 
has provided that unique opportunity for me as a man growing up in an environment that does not provide that uh, uh, platform. So I think it's unique in that sense because men also got to have a chance to <coughs> understand the experiences that the other genders are going through and how we, we to, to some extent, we are equal um, um, we, we, in terms of our experiences. It's just uh, us being given the opportunity to explore and those differences, but that's, uh, what is important is that we are all facing the same experiences. Yeah, and just to add, I think it, it breaks even the culture, you know, because we have this culture thing that we, we cannot really look at men in, 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 his, in her eyes direct and touches. So I think we learn in this um, workshop to be able to touch to able to connect with eyes, you know. Yeah, I think that was really unique. Yeah, I think it boosts my, my, my esteem as a woman. And it teaches me that it's okay to be vulnerable. Yes. Yeah, not to hide your feelings, but to, to talk about it. So it heals me and it restores my dignity again. Well, that's for me, I think, um, I understood that in order to deal with, in order to understand reconciliation, you need to um, deal with you first. You, know, you need to deal, you need to change first, you need to explore yourself first. You need to explore yourself first to understand reconciliation. Okay, thank you.